So, ngayon naman ay magbibigay tayo ng examples on how to solve problems uh, that involve circles. So, katulad noong mga problems na nasa ating aklat, kinuha ko itong isang problem na ito. So, let us read first the problem and analyze. From the main entrance of a park, there are two pathways where visitors can walk along going to the circular garden. The pathways are both tangent to the garden whose center is 40 meters away from the main entrance. If the area of the garden is about 706.5 square meters, how long is each pathway? So, hindi naman siya mahirap talaga. Niisip lamang ng mga estudyante yung mahirap kapag ka problem na ang ibinigay. Pero kung ating babasahin at uunawaing mabuti, gagamitan natin ng illustration para mas makita natin kung ano ba ang pinag-uusapan sa problem. Madali natin itong masasolve. So, ang sabi dun sa problem, as illustrated here in our drawings, ating figure, so, this is the center of the circular garden. And from the center of the garden to the main entrance, ang um, distance niya ay 40 meters. Then, the area of the garden, so the area of this garden is 706.5 square meters. But we are asked to find the pathway, how long is each pathway. In our previous lesson, dun sa ating mga naunang module, sabi natin doon, dun sa mga theorems na diniscuss natin, kapag yung dalawang tangent line ay nanggaling sa same exterior point, so ito yung same exterior point, yung main entrance, and then this line are both tangent to circle, so these two pathways are both tangent to circle, then the length of this segment, the pathway, these two pathway are congruent. So, whatever the distance uh, from the main entrance to the garden of this pathway is also the distance of the other pathway here. So, ito yung hinahanap natin yung pathway. Pag tinignan natin yung illustration ng pathway sa garden, siya ay tangent. Pag tinignan natin yung point or external point, yung main entrance to the center of the garden, siya ay part ng second. Kung i-extend natin yung center point pa, papunta dun sa kabilang dulo ng circle. So, ibig sabihin, magdadagdag pa tayo ng another radius here. So, magiging diam complete diameter yan. And then, this will serve as your whole second line. And then, meron tayong external second segment. Ayan. So, whole second segment, and then external second segment, then we have tangent segment. So, dyan ngayon papasok yung application ng theorems on intersecting second segment, tangent segment, and external second segment. So, yun ang i-apply natin. That the square of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the whole second segment times the external second segment. So, tingnan natin kung paano natin siya isosolve on the next slide. Ah, ayan, nandito pa rin yung maliit na drawing natin ng garden at saka pathway, main entrance. So, ang una natin gagawin dahil kailangan natin makomplete yung line segment na ito para maging whole second segment. So, kailangan natin alamin pa kung gano'ng kahaba itong from the center point here which is the radius of the circle. So, alamin natin what is the radius of the circle para makomplete natin yung second segment. Given naman na ang area ng circle ay 706.5 square meters and the distance of the center of the garden to the main entrance is 40 meters, then ang anon nga natin is tangent, i-represent e natin siya ng x. So, our first uh, uh, solution is what formula are we going to apply in order to find the length of the tangent segment, which is the pathway. 
So, ito na nga yung square of tangent segment is equal to whole second segment times external second segment. So, in-apply natin yung theorem na yan. Pero, ang una natin nga alamin ay kung ano muna ang radius para maging kompleto yung ating whole second segment. So, gamit yung formula, area of circle is equal to pi r square. So, alam na dapat yan ang lahat that the area of the circle is pi r square. I-substitute natin ngayon, ano ang area ng circle? 706.5 square meters. Is equal to ano ang pi? Gamitin natin value ng pi, 3.14. And then, yung hinahanap natin, radius, raised to 2 or r square. Then, to find the radius, syempre gamitin natin yung properties of equality. So, we can divide both sides by 3.14 to obtain r square. And then, 706.5 square meters divided by 3.14 din. Pag dinivide natin ngayon si 706.5 sa 3.14 ang sagot, 225 square meters. And this is equal to r square. Since radius lang naman ang hinahanap natin, naka-square yan, para mawala yung square d yan, let us extract the square root both side. Yan. So, pag in-extract natin ang square root ng r square, we will obtain r, the radius. Same, gawin natin din yung sa kabila. Square root of 225 square meter, the answer is 15. So, now, our radius is 15 meters. So, ang gamit ngayon ng radius na 15 meter 15 meters is para makuha na natin yung whole second segment. So, if this, if from this point up to this point is 15, so meaning, we need to add 15 to the given uh, distance of the garden to the main entrance, which is 40, which complete a whole second. So, meron tayo ngayong whole second segment is equal to 40, yung given kanina from this point up to here, 40 yan. Plus, yung nakuha natin na radius, 15. Ayun. So, whole second segment now is equal to 55 meters. Then, kailangan natin sa formula ang external second segment. So, ibig sabihin, ang external second segment from this point up to this point. So, this is the external second segment. So, alin na ngayon ang ibabawas natin dun sa given kanina na, kung ito ay 40, yan, simula dun sa center hanggang dito sa main entrance, ito ay 40. Tanggalin natin ngayon, tatanggalin natin ngayon ito. Yan. Which is, yan ay 15 meters kasi yan ay radius. So, kaya meron tayong 40 minus 15. And, external second segment. So, ito ngayon. Ito ngayon. Yan, hanggang doon. Yan ay 15. Ay, uh, well, I mean 25. Sorry. So, this is 25. Yan. Dahil, ito ay 15. Radius yan. At yung kinuho natin kanina nga, kaya ang nalaman natin 15, ito yung another 15. Yung sinolve natin una. Ayan. Kaya nagkaroon tayo kanina dito ng whole second, uh, whole second segment from this point up to this point. Okay, hindi maging sulat. Ngayon, so kung ang ating whole second segment ay 55 at ang external second segment ay 25, I-substitute na natin doon sa formula para makuha na natin yung uh, value ng x dito sa representation natin. Wherein yung x, yun yung ginamit natin for the uh, pathway. So, you have now tangent segment square or square of tangent segment is equal to the product of the whole second segment and external second segment. Uh, substitute, so we have x square is equal to 55 meters times 25 meters. So, ito yung kinuha natin kanina. So, meron ka ngayong x square is equal to the product. If we multiply, i-multiply natin yung 55 sa 25. Gamitin yung calculator. Kung meron kayong calculator, kung wala, magmano-mano kayo ng multiplication. 55 times 25 is equal to 1,375. 
Kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina dun sa R square, R lang kukunin natin. So, itong X square, X lang kukunin natin. Extract again the square root both side. Ayan. Kaya, nag-extract tayo both side. So, the square root of X square is X and the square root of 1,375 square meters is 37.08 meters. So, ini-round up ko na to the nearest hundreds. Ayan. Nag-round up na ako to the nearest hundreds. And this 37.08 meter is, yun yun tinatanong, how long is the pathway? So, from this point up to this point, ayan, to the main entrance, papunta doon, yan yung pathway. Ito ay 37.08 meters. So, same with the other pathway, ito rin. From this point up to this point, another pathway, this is also 37.08 meters. So, yun ang ating sagot. So, hope na intindihan ninyo at makatulong sa inyo para makapagsagot kayo ng marami pang problems that involve circles.